might have to leave some of these weapons behind. I don't really need those guys there. I'd love to be able to trade them, but I don't really have anything to trade for yet. Nothing I'm really looking for. Just mostly repair kits that I'm trading for at this point. And, you know, skills eventually too, right? Maybe I should have brought a bag back with me. Save some time. I'm not sure how far I'm going to get here. I i don't know if I have enough ammo. I should have been keeping track. I think this door probably locked. No, it stayed open. That's good. Holy cow. Lisa, uh, now I know I got enough steel bars to do whatever I want. And I'm going to keep those steel pickaxes for my own use. Three hits on a rock for some stone is uh, pretty nice. Quite a treat. And that's it for this room. I think uh, we're done this building, actually. I don't remember um, any other rooms in here, so we can move on to the next one. I already forgot if I grabbed gear or if I just broke it all down. I do want to take a little bit of gear with me for the... Uh... i got to be careful down here because that big fella can hear me rooting around in here. Oh, this one's not available. This one normally is. But not today. Not on this map. It's not ready to go, I guess. Yeah, let's just uh, be really careful here. I don't see him. But he should be here somewhere. Soldier down there. Okay, no more weapons. I should be able to get quite a bit of ammo out of here. This is a pretty good storage locker for ammo. Or it has been in the past, I don't know. Oh, look at all the gun mods. There's another scope. I really need that SKS. I missed my rifle. Still no blueprints though. I'm a little concerned about that. Yeah, we don't need any of those. Oh, there we go. There's my rifle. All right, I gotta make room for it. Okay, we'll go back to the car and we'll swap that for that. In case something weird happens. And uh, yeah, we'll go unload and then come back. Actually, I can probably go ahead and mod this up right here. I think I, I have everything I need. I think the stock was on the... Uh, oh, no, there it is. Yeah, the magazine is probably back at the car. And the muzzle. Oh, yeah. So we're just missing the, uh, the extended magazine. I'll bring a bag back with me this time. People have been uh, suggesting that I do that for, for a long time now and I keep, uh, I just don't I don't know why, I, I just don't usually forget actually I could be full at this point here 
Because if I put the bag that I'm wearing into the vehicle, got my arrow. Oh, I'm almost out of arrows too. What do I got room for? Three bags. Uh, so this one for sure. The rest are military except this guy here. Well, here's hoping I don't run into any more zombies. I'm going to go ahead and uh, load that up. And then this bag will have to be emptied out. Yeah, I'm just, I think I'm out of room now. I think I'm done. I got room for one more bag. Hmm. So that's it. I'm pretty full unless I, uh, unless I get rid of some weapons here. Oh, I do have another bag and it's packed too. Man, I overdid it. I want that gear. Let's have a look at my go bag here. Maybe I can get rid of some stuff. Yeah, I most definitely overdid it. I hate to get rid of this rock because it's so hard to find, but... Yeah, that's my go bag. Hmm. Let's just go through everything here and maybe we'll get rid of some rifles that I, I know I'm not going to use, that I would only use for trade. Shotguns we're keeping, everything else in there looks good. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Holy cow, all these weapons. I hate throwing them all out. I kind of want to hang on to this one because it's the uh, upgraded version of the uh, the uh, submachine gun. We'll hang on to that one. And I think what we'll do is we'll go back just for ammo, nothing else. Yeah, I want to make sure I have enough ammo to do the bandit camp there. Sure went through quite a few rounds on the last one. Whole pile of guns. It's too bad. I should maybe take them and put them back in the... Uh, I mean, this place is always going to respawn, right? But I can put them back in the in the lockers and then at least they won't despawn. What I used to do here is I used to go into the main building in the center there and uh, loot the entire building and bring everything to... Oh, where'd you come from? I think I got one arrow left. And I still got one arrow left. I used to loot the entire building here and bring and just fill these lockers. And then I can, whenever I wanted to, I can just come back and uh, take from the front here without having to go through the whole building. So I collect everything, the loot, the, the uh, ammo, everything from all the buildings and bring it up here. Well, there's a fat guy down there. I don't want to deal with him. I wonder where they're coming from, though. I don't. Th I think it's too soon for respawn. This door might be locked again. No, maybe they fix that. Usually, if you go away, it'll uh, it'll lock up on you. Let's see where I left behind here, or where I left off. I think we're over here. So what we'll do is just take ammo, only ammo, no more nine mil. And no more 44, just 762 and 556. And a, a muzzle for the uh, a suppressor for the. Dang it, there's another shotgun. Yeah, and we'll take that. I don't know if that's the one I need or not. Oh, and there's my magazine. Oh, I didn't need a uh, suppressor. I, I, need, I think I was short a magazine, so there we go. I have a hard time leaving this stuff behind. It's easier to trade mods because they're worth quite a bit because rifles take up too much room. So I'll take the mods and leave the rifles behind. Like this is worth so much at the trader. Good way to train up skills. I guess not having enough room to take everything with me is, isn't the worst problem to have. A lot of loot here. Yeah, 
it we'll go to the last building here and then we'll head back or we'll head out and we'll head to the uh, bandit camp let's finish this building here no nope, it's empty oh okay it's not ready to go so I think that's it, honestly. I'm going to go back to the uh, storage locker area and see what kind of gear I left behind, see if there's a pair of pants that I can bring with me. And that way I'm covered. Whoa, what is that? It's a zombie. Freaked me out. There's some ammo on the ground here. Well, that's quite a bit of ammo. And the door stayed open. That's awesome. Such a big change from uh, before. I think I looted this one out. See if I can find a pair of pants, jackets. They're both the same. I think I got a jacket already. Ah, I must have disassembled the uh, the pants. Might as well grab a couple jackets. Hopefully, I don't lose these pants. I can keep going here, and man, they're just respawning now. Where are they coming from? I could just keep going and uh, keep looting, but we're going to get rolling here. I think I have enough ammo and weapons to do that bandit camp now. Just save my game. And I don't even know if I set my respawn. We'll go ahead and do that now. Whoops, I'm looking for video. Okay, so we're going to go... A little bit down the highway here and the bandit camp should be right there and we'll go ahead and try to take that one out for the npc hopefully we don't run into too many problems yeah this turned out this was a pretty good run pretty happy with it you know we're gonna go do this bandit camp and i just realized that i don't have any room in any of my packs to loot the bandit camp uh, i'll have to throw some more things away i guess Okay, so there it is, I believe. Have a look here. Yeah, that's it. All right. I guess I'll get a uh, spawn point set up and then see if we can rescue that NPC. Okay, so I guess the best thing to do right now is to get geared up. Uh, what time is it here? It's 6.08 in the morning, which is good. Double check the map here. Okay, so it should just be right in front of me there, the bandit camp. We'll uh, dump all my bags and let's get some weapons geared up here. Okay, so I'm probably going to try to use the M4. I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to find it. There we go. I'm going to try the assault rifle. Uh, 4670. I like something with a little more damage, though. Like, man, that's got a lot of damage. Like, I don't, I don't know why. I think the only reason why it's not preferred is because it's single shot, right? So a few people have suggested that I go ahead and try using the assault rifle with burst or full auto, actually full auto mostly. And uh, I've just kind of, you know, been against that because ammo is is hard for me to get. You know, I've, I've always had an issue getting ammo and I feel like I'm wasting it if I'm going full out, you know. But we'll go ahead and mod this up and see if we can, uh, I feel like I put a mod in one of these already. May have been the SKS. I'm just going to have a look here real quick. Yeah, okay, so I've got the extended clip in this one. We'll put the other one in the uh, back in the bag. Better hurry, because I don't want to do this when it's uh, dark. All right, pick that up, and we'll finish modding this. We have the extended clip. We're going to... I'm not sure if the suppressor would really help. You know, it might keep some of the bandits away from me, maybe. I don't know. I've never really modded one of these up. Or I think maybe I have. I just, I don't remember. We'll just see what I can get on there. Sure. Oh, that, that works. I don't know the differences between these. Oops. Like, I don't know if they make a difference in, uh, you know, damage or, or whatever. I think I'd much rather have a compensator than a uh, suppressor on there. If it actually works properly, you know, then I can... Not have to worry about recoils so much. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, and the ammo should be five five six, right? Okay, so we'll collect all my five five six ammo. Just eat a little bit of food here and make a little bit of room. 
and we'll swap my jacket out if I can. See, this is what I was worried about. I filled up, right? And now I don't really have room to do anything. So I'm gonna, I'll equip that. I'm really worried about losing these pants. I don't want to lose them. They're a really good pair for winter. Probably the best pair I can find. Uh, what else can I do here? I should have enough ammo to do this. And even if I have to switch weapons, I should have enough to switch. I'm trying to figure out some room here. I don't know if the items that I'm carrying with me actually get damaged when I get hit. So I am I really wouldn't mind finding room for this jacket. I'm going to try to make the jacket work and uh, try to get it in here. Try to preserve it as much as I can from getting damaged. And the sledgehammer, well, I don't think I'm going to have room for that. Just about get another jack in there. There we go. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm a mess, clearly, but what I'm going to, it's kind of the direction I'm going to go in. Okay, and I think another thing I'm going to do here is keep some ammo in my vehicle in case I die. I do have another M4 available, so I should be able to uh, use it if I need it. That way I got a little bit of backup ammo in case something bad happens, which is very possible. These guys do not play around. I still think that this is going to be a waste of ammo to go full auto, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try and see if we, I can get it to work. Make sure we're ready to go. So the extended magazine doesn't really give me a lot of extra ammo. 35, that's okay. I got room to grab some sticks and I'll make a spawn point. We'll probably have it way back here, right out of the way. And because we're on the road, I can uh, I can draw them out to the road and, and run from them. And I don't know, I'm gonna have to change my tactics because usually when I do this with the SKS, I get onto the road and I, uh, I draw them out and then I chase them back to the uh, bandit camp there and take them out, shoot them in the back. All right. Looks like we are ready to go. I'm gonna maybe use my car, pull them out a little bit really don't know what kind of range I'm going to have on this weapon here. I won't use my car. I'll just run up. Screw it. I got to watch this barrier too because it's, it's, I don't know what's wrong with the hitboxes, but it can get in the way of my shots. I can actually end up shooting the barrier instead of the bandits. And they should be coming out any second here. Because they're not going to be happy to see me. There's one right there. Oh, he saw me. Change my mode to fully automatic. Oh, I actually hit him. I don't mind doing that all day. I think, oh, geez, there's one right there. So maybe that barrier worked out into my favor there. Looks like uh, this guy got a little hung up on it. And same with the, um, same with the guys way down there. I think I can take this guy out. Is this cheating? Yeah, I, I feel like that's kind of a exploiting a weakness in the AI. But I guess early access works both ways, right? All right. 
so far so good. There's got to be about six or seven left, I think. Another one up on the tower there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch coming now. I hate this uh, zooming in. Doesn't work very well. Yeah, that kind of wrecked his day. So I, I don't know any other way to do it, but to pull up the scope, like if you right click, you'll, you'll semi zoom, but you got to double right click to fully zoom. I don't know if there's another way to do it, but it, it can be a real pain in the ass to get it. Sometimes it just doesn't want to click in. Whoa, there's a guy right there. <laughs> there we go. How are we looking there? I don't see anybody up in the towers. Did I get them all? This one was really easy if I did compared to the last one. It's gonna be careful here. What was my health? Really good actually. Yeah, they got hung up on the barrier. I have a feeling they're gonna, the devs will probably tweak that because that was a lot easier than it should have been. Not sure if there's any other corpses to uh, check out down here. I think I got them all. So that worked really well. Nope, oh, there's one more back there. Where is he? Where is he? Which way is he going to come in? Well, I, I think that's it. I think we got them all. Hopefully I get lucky with the blueprints here. There should be an NPC here. Now, where's the jail cell? Right there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, let's see if I can do this with a crowbar. I think I got my sledgehammer with me, too. I can't. Okay, so we will use the sledgehammer. Hopefully I don't get mobbed by another MP or a bandit because I don't have a weapon handy. I'm glad that they made the door a little easier to break down. Used to take quite a while. And we'll re-equip my weapon. Thank you. There we go. NPC rescued. She should be uh, at my base now. Like, by the time I get home, she should be there. Awesome. Okay, there's one. And let's see what I find here for blueprints. There should be blueprints here, too. Might even find a uh, car repair kit if I'm lucky. Yeah, that worked out really good. I'm really happy. The weapon worked out fine. Uh, zooming in was a bit of a pain in the ass. I think I, I kind of, I don't know. This one was a lot, oh, another bullet production, man. I've already got that. It sucks. Um, this one was a lot easier than the last one. The last one I had so many issues with so many bandits. I feel like this one didn't have near as many, like not even close. I probably had half the amount. That's a really crappy draw on that, uh, blueprint. I'm not going to take any of that. I've got like no room. So doing this bandit camp and comparing it to the last one, I made the last one look like bandits were the most impossible thing to do. And doing this one made it look like they're no big thing. It's, it's not a big thing. It's no big deal. It's easy. And that's not true. Uh, they can be really difficult, like really difficult. This one was really easy. And yes, the full auto did, uh, allow me to lock them up. I didn't realize that it changes back to single shot when you equip and unequip it. 
Okay, what do we got here? Ah, oh, medical lab, so crappy. Okay, I got the machining table. Now I'm excited. Like, this was great. What a fantastic run. I've got an NPC and a blueprints for the machining table. So if I have a look at my technology tree here, uh, where am I? I'm here now. I need that machining table to basically get to bullet production down here, right? So I should be able to make my own uh, ammo. Not only that, but you need the machining table to open up the second half of the game when it comes to technology. Like, look at all this stuff here I'm going to be able to build finally. Pretty happy about that. Oh yeah, car repair kit. Now I can actually make car repair kits. I'm very happy about that. I am going to save it because I do not want to have to look for this again. That is such an important blueprint. So that's one NPC. There should be another one on the way home here. I will eat this, seeing as I'm here. I don't need to bring any of this back home with me. Hmm, not a lot of loot, most definitely. Oh, three more blueprints and a good battery. What do we have? Water storage, I don't have that yet. So that's excellent. I can make my water storage. I'm gonna take the inverter because they seem, I don't, I haven't seen too many of those and the 300 watt panel, man. Oil extractor, I'm pretty sure I got that last time. And the second machining table. Like I don't, I don't need these anymore, but I'll trade them off. Uh, how am I going to do this? So I'm going to have to make some room. So I scored pretty big here. I don't care what I get rid of out of my car. I'm going to come back and grab that battery and that solar panel. I'm going to make it happen. Oh, and a generator. Look at all the blueprints here. Oil extractor again. Sewing machine I don't have, I don't think. Uh, medical lab I do. Water storage station again. This is all good stuff. I mean, not all of it. A lot of it is doubles, but we'll go get my car. This way I can bring my car up, and if there are any other bandits around, they'll uh, they'll be attracted to the sound of the car, and I can get rid of them, or they'll kill me, one or the other. See how my pants are doing, my winter pants? They're good. Good shape. So, yeah, I'm really happy. That worked out way better than the last one. Lots of blueprints here. We'll just park right here. Oh, there is another bandit. Look at that. Man. Like, what the hell? Where did he come from? I told you. If I bring my car up, he's going to hear it. And he's going to come running out. If there are any left, they're going to hear it. And sure enough, I don't know where the hell he was hiding. Freaking shotgun on him. Uh, did I get damaged? A little bit. Not too bad. Okay, let's, uh, let's make some room here for that panel. And I'd like to take that generator too. But, you know, in the long run, I end up, you know, stop using those generators. Definitely don't need that pick. That can go. Place it with that one. I uh, get rid of that pot because I can make them now. So I'm not sure what to get rid of here. I got a lot of maintenance kits. I can probably get rid of a few of those. Those are very abundant in game. We want to keep the water storage and the machining table. Okay, and then I'm pretty sure I have the oil extractor at home. I can get rid of that. Second machining table. Uh, advanced medical lab I already have, and the bullet production I definitely have. I think I, I have two of those, so those can all go back. The inverter I want for another battery table. Probably get rid of a couple of these knives. That cloth can go. I know I've got a crucible at home. I think I only need one for the electric furnace, but maybe I'll get rid of it because it does take up quite a bit of room. Okay, so we have a little more room in there. All right, that worked out. Yeah, I'm pretty full. It's not good. I, I knew I was going to run into this problem. I can always get rid of that fur. I can also get rid of this military jacket. So I'll get rid of the jacket for sure. Fur. 
keep the fur. I need 15 of those, right? Maybe I'll break this one down. I wish this fur was so large, took up so much room. Uh, the car parts I can get rid of. I don't necessarily need those. Sewing machine I want to keep. So I'm curious, do you mod rifles that you give to your NPCs? Does that make a difference? Does it make it better for them? Because if so, then I should probably hang on to my mods. Okay. I always got five days to come back in case I screw up and, and drop off uh, a blueprint that I thought I had, but I actually don't before they respawn. Go ahead and repair my rifle, seeing as I can. Oops. I think that's all I want out of there. I don't need this stuff here. I can probably leave all that behind. I'll keep those for band-aids. Uh, the car repair parts I can get just about anywhere. They're very abundant. Get rid of that knife. I, it won't break down into any steel. Or it didn't on the last map, so I don't want to uh, waste any time trying to hang on to it. Why is my mood low? You know why it's low? Because I'm dirty. That's interesting. I'm going to waste some water here. Could help bring my mood back up. Another battery. Uh, water storage we have. Medicine lab we have. Oil extractor. I really want this too, but not really. I don't know if I should leave that behind. We'll take it for now. Well, now I'm overweight. Hopefully I don't run into any more bandits. I think that's kind of it here too. I think I've been through everything. Just double check in here. I think I have been through all the buildings. Yeah, I've opened all this up. Okay, I think we're done. And uh, we can move on to the other bandit camp. Try to find a body of water too so I can get cleaned up. Work on my hygiene a little bit. I'm going to try to take that uh, cooking pot with me too if I can. So I can make some more water. Probably just put this one in my truck or in my vehicle. Look at my hygiene. Look at how fast it's going down. That's crazy. I don't know why it's going down so much or so quickly. Oh, I got some water here. That's good. That's it. Pretty much out of room. I'd like to take that pot with me, though, just in case I need to boil some water on my way home. All right, I think we're good to go. We're pretty full, and that was very successful. We got the, you know what? I'm so paranoid. I just want to make sure I have those blueprints before I leave. Going machine, I want I want to see the machining table one, and I actually need some treats infection. There we go. So I don't have any on me, and if I get a, if I get infected, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I'll just bleed out. And I should probably take some more of that ammo. The next bandit camp. And there's a machining table. So yeah, we, we're good. I did go through quite a bit of ammo, I think. Not too bad. We'll see how tough the next camp is. Here's uh, some happy magazines so I can bring my mood up a little bit. All right. We're good. I think I got everything together here. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I'm sure I'll uh, figure it out when I'm way too far away to do anything about it. All right, we want to go in this direction, and we want to go down to H1 and pick up this NPC right there. 